we'll be coming back to where where radio is going if if there's any sort of future for your local FM signal, which I think there probably is, and um, so forth. In the in the Guardian today, in the the second bit, the the smaller bit, there's a very long article about Radio One, and uh, how it's going to be affected by Apple. It, it it has almost no information in it about Apple or what Zane is doing. And I think this is one of the things that, that possibly will get a, some sort of response at some point. Apple is just a great mystery. Um, there is speculation. They, they, do are, not they are indeed. Love, love your iPhone. But I think this Apple Radio, Apple is, is um, a disaster. You, you never set out to be a radio station in the beginning, so I don't know what you're doing. You're a mystery so company there is the mysterious car there is the mysterious television set and may i make it clear that i only use app products because they suit me so that's the only i'm not i'm not really i'm actually going more and more off apple as as, as the days go on so you, you know as soon as something better comes along what if it did my my days of supporting apple are over well, anyway. So that's anyway. Just, so uh, as if everybody's clear. Anyway, I am not a, a raving on Apple fan. Apple fan, because people seem to think I'm an Apple fan. Jonathan May is not <laughs> an Apple fan. Well, John, we've been doing this show for about a year, and most of that time you've been saying, "Well, look, well, mm. I just want to play tunes from my my wonderful <laughs> phone." And now we've got the Bluetooth working, and you can do exactly that. You're balancing out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. Anyway, look, in this Guardian article, uh, they say, there's, there's a, uh, somebody from Radio, Radio 1 is there, who says, well, if you include our YouTube uh, followers and views, uh, our, our audience share is actually going up, or it's not going down as much as it might otherwise be if you didn't include all the YouTube uh, bits in all the radio industry statistics, which is probably true. But I think uh, Radio 2 should be included as well. I'm, I don't know if they're on YouTube. We'll have a look. We'll see if Radio 2 is on YouTube. But I mention this because my own uh, response to this, or part of this, is doing playlists on YouTube. Because I think YouTube will have subscription music offers. I think everybody will do it. Because if, if Apple had negotiated everything, which presumably they have, with the Warner Brothers and everybody else, it's all going to be fairly straightforward. And uh, there will be a subscription streaming of one sort or another, and everybody probably will. I expect Microsoft will. You know, whoever's got a, a, an audience as, of whatever at the moment, they'll all try and do whatever anybody else is doing. Yep. Do you think so this seems to be possibly yep. what 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 goes on? Um, but anyway, what I, I think Radio Two comes into it because if you if you just go through the history of Radio One, people like Zane. Um, they would be they would be trying to get rid of him anyway, I think, because they've got this remit that everybody who listens to Radio One has got to be under twenty something or other. So I don't know how long has he been at Radio One for? Quite a long time. Quite a long time now. Quite a long time. I think. I uh, anyway. Um, what I'm getting round to is I think during this week or sometime soon, Josh Stone is going to be on Radio Two for an interview, and what would be good is if that could be completely on YouTube. So everybody could play it. I think that would ma that would make a lot of sense. And then um, every every F every FM station could just play whatever it was Radio Two has got. That's 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 my thought. Anyway, this is this is this is from YouTube, uh, and uh, it, this is official audio from Joss Stone official stuck on you. 